Hi, I'm Heather Padrine. I'm the Dean of Instruction at RFMA. Um, I've been here for 11 years now. And the thing that keeps me at RFMA and the reason I love it so much really comes down to our community um, and what, what we call our colectivo. We're a very community-based school. And not only do we strive to offer our students rigorous academics, but I think what sets us, sets us apart is we strive to be a place where they celebrate who they are every day and see themselves represented in our building. And same for our families. Our families love to uh, stick around each day and be part of the, the colectivo as well. Uh, again, I just think that it feels like we're one big family here with our families and our students. Um, and I think seeing how comfortable our families are coming into the building and talking to our staff um, about what they love and their concerns is something that's really special and unique. Um, and again, just making sure that our building is a place where our students feel honored, represented, celebrated, and that they feel like they're at home here. Um, so our literacy program here at RFMA um, was completely transformed starting in fall of 2019. Uh, we were awarded the early literacy grant. So with that came a, an expert literacy consultant who guided us in renovating and uh, like really cr creating a program that best meets the needs of our students. Um, so for kindergarten, and we really extended it through to fifth grade, um, everything is research-based um, curriculum. So what we're doing is based on the science of reading and studies on how our brains learn how to read. So starting in kindergarten, we're really focused on phonemic awareness and phonics and teaching our students those foundational skills. Um, we work on comprehension and vocabulary as well, but at the early years, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, the focus is really on making sure that they know how to decode or read the words that are on the page. Um, so that by the time they're in third grade, they start making a transition from learning how to read the words to then reading to learn new content. Um, and we have various curriculums we use to meet those specific needs. And then if the core instruction in the classroom isn't quite meeting an individual student's needs, then we also have a dedicated intervention block um, where the student goes to a small group to, in order to be able to fill those literacy gaps. And our goal is to close any of those gaps before they leave third grade um, so that they can go into fourth grade and above as really strong independent readers. And then in middle school, our future goals are really to make that shift too in terms of being really critical about what we read and writing about it as well. So. What I love most about RFMA is definitely our athletics programs. Here at RFMA we have recently joined a new league called the Denver Metro League which has expanded our competition, brought a lot of our games closer to our school and provided us with many 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 more opportunities to get our kids involved in athletics and after school sports in general. Outside of athletics, what I love the most about RFMA is the community feel and being able to see every single kid every single day. I start by greeting them first thing in the morning when they walk in. Each student gets a good morning in their name. Um, oftentimes they do not say it back, but that's alright. I'm going to keep saying it. Um, it's really, really awesome to be able to see each kid not only every day, but year after year after year and watch their continued growth in the classroom, in the athletics field, and just as young individuals in general. Um, another thing about RFMA is the families. Uh, so to have a student in kindergarten, fourth, seventh, and eighth grade all from the same family, seeing them year after year, watching them come through athletics, watching them go through high school, and then attending their games years after. Um, that's probably what I love the most about our community.